Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how you can use Photoshop Actions um, to prevent you having to repeat the same tasks over and over again. Okay, um, to get started you have to make sure you've got your Actions dialog open. Um, so let's bring that up if you haven't already. Go to Windows and just tick Actions or hit Alt and F9. To give you some framework to what this action is going to do, this little test action we're going to make, um, I have here a texture that I want to be tiling. Um, and to do that I typically use the um, filter other offset um, to just move it um, 128 pixels or whatever may be suitable um, so as to see where the seams are in the, um, in the texture. Um, I want to record an action that can do that. Now before I do that let's consider I could of course add myself a um, keyboard shortcut which is in here and uh, you can go into filter other offset and give it uh, a, a shortcut but that would bring up the dialogue each time and for my purposes you're going to see why in a bit but I don't want to have to do that I just want to hit it and um, let it move it each time so um, let's make an action for that now this is obviously a very simple action but uh, it should give you a, a basic idea of how you can make actions so first of all um, I'm going to make a new group for my actions I'm going to just call it tutorial um, that comes up here. Uh, to make a new action we just hit this little button here which is new um, and let's name this one um, offset uh, 128 okay. um, and let's give it a function key, let's use uh, F10 uh, and hit record. Okay so right now it's in the process of recording. Anything that I do um, will be recording. We know that it's recording because the little red uh, record um, button is highlighted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just do the step itself, so offset by 128, and that's fine, make sure I've got wraparound on, and hit OK. And that's actually all I want my um, action to do, so I'll hit stop, that's, I'm now no longer recording my action, and if I hit F10, then it will start to do the offset. And the convenience of having it on just a key means that I'm not pestered by that dialog each time, and I can just uh, visually um, check it in different places and um, that will help me to make my offset. If I wanted to, I could allow myself to see that dialog um, by just pushing this little icon here, and that means that when I run it with F10, it'll ask me um, what, what my movements are. Um, so at any point, if you wish to in your um, actions, you can give user control. Okay, so let's like, take a look at a slightly more sophisticated example. Uh, this texture here, I'm basically done with it, um, but I want to make sure that I've left enough padding at the sides of each of my islands to uh, ensure I don't get any kind of mipping errors or anything like that. Um, so for this to work, I'm going to need to know exactly where these islands are. So uh, I have here a layer called UV solids that just shows in white um, where those are, and the rest of this channel is blank. So if I were to select the visibility on this channel, you can see that I just have uh, these bits here, sorry, this layer rather. Um, and I want to generate something along the lines of this effect. So we can see if I take a look now at the edges of uh, some of these bits here, let's take a look here. Um, what, we've, what we've essentially d done here is duplicated the visible um, space and blurred it at the edges. Um, and I've got a mask showing only the bits that uh, are outside of that space. Okay, so let's record an action to do that, and it's uh, still a very simple process. Um, let me delete these layers and we'll start as though from scratch. So I'm going to make a new uh, action, I'm going to call it um, bleed, because it's like the bleedy edge, um, and I'm going to hit record. Okay, um, actually before I hit record, uh, I'm going to hit stop. Uh, one of the things that we have to have done is um, loaded up the um, selection. This is just in case you haven't named it UV solids or whatever. So uh, one of the requirements for this action will be to have that loaded and also to have your topmost um, layer selected. <coughs> okay, let's continue recording. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Control shift c to copy merged. Now I'm going to make a new group I'm going to invert my selection with Control shift i and that's just going to select all the bits that weren't selected. So now I've only got selected the uh, bits that aren't 
being rendered. Uh, so the, the bits where we need our bleed. And I'll apply a mask to this layer. I'll clear my selection, that's okay. Now I'm going to um, hit Control and V to paste the uh, merged copy. So right now we're just looking at um, pretty much the same thing, but uh, we're only looking at the bits which are inside of here, so we're not going to pick up any of these greys on this layer. So now let's uh, just basically blur it. Um, so Gaussian blur, uh, I like to start with a smaller number. And um, because we didn't have any uh, anything here, this is still semi-transparent. So I'm going to just duplicate it a couple of times and then merge it down a couple of times. Now I'm going to blur it a little bit more. So Gaussian blur, uh, let's go with 3.5. That's great. And duplicate, merge down. And then one final blur at 5. Duplicate a couple of times and merge down. Okay, let's hit stop. Okay, that's pretty much got us to where we want. Um, that's done exactly what I need, and uh, from this point onwards, I can actually uh, make use of this for any um, cleanup. So we can see that uh, I've left a little bit of uh, spillover and I've not um, gone to the edges properly. That's really easy to fix now. I can just uh, load up my selection and um, let me just modify, expand that by one pixel. And uh, painting now with white to show. I'm just hit Control and H to hide my selection. So I'm painting with white just in that one pixel outside uh, to start showing the uh, merge result. And we can see I'm just able to get rid of the edges which are slightly incorrect here. So I can just come down and hit Shift. And there we go. Get rid of them all really easily. Uh, and this just makes sure that uh, there are no um, unexpected results um, at the edges of our UVs. Okay, that's good, but does it work on another um, on another texture? Uh, I'll have got another one here for us to test on. Um, so again, I will load up my selection, and uh, I called this one bleed, so I'll just collapse this, and I'll, um, I believe it's this one, I've already made this once, but uh, if I just hit play, let's see what happens. Sure enough, it's made uh, pretty much the same result, but for this texture. And that's exactly what we need. Um, that pretty much concludes all there is to know about actions, really. Um, it's worth noting, though, that you can easily go into uh, any of these um, actions that you've made and start editing them. You can jump in partway through and continue recording to put new actions in the middle. You can also uh, bin existing actions if you don't want to... Uh, that to happen, or uh, on certain um, actions you can double click on them and change some of the parameters. So I could change this to be a different amount of blur. So they're um, easily edited once you've already made them, um, but it, sometimes it's just uh, easier to take a moment to plan them out um, before you go uh, headlong, because otherwise you'll start to get yourself confused. Um, so I hope you're able to uh, make some actions which are useful to you. Um, good luck!